In this presentation, we look at transitive relations. A relation R is said to be transitive if we have two conditions. If we have XRY and YRZ, and a, a relation exists between X and Y, I'll just draw that here. This is X, this is Y, this is the relation, and we have YRZ. So this is represented by this part of the digraph. Let's color them in. So a relation said a, a, a relation is said to be transitive if if we can uh, furthermore say this x r z. This relation exists also, and this is an example of a transitive relation. Okay, now let's look at an example. A, B, and C live in a row of three houses. A and B are next door neighbors. B and C are also next door neighbors. So let's look at this in the context of a digraph. So here the relation is next door neighbor. So we would sort of say A, R, B, and B, R, C, where R means next door neighbor. Now, A is the next door neighbor of B, B is the next door neighbor of A. So we have this symmetric relation here. Likewise, B is the next door neighbor of C, and C is the next door neighbor of B. Okay? But it is the, not the case that A is a next door neighbor of C. We do not have the link going between A and C directly. So as we have it here, this is actually not transitive. A and B are not next door neighbors, even though A, uh, A and C are not next door neighbors, even though A and B are next door neighbors and B and C are next door neighbors. This relation is not transitive. A, R, C does not exist. So A and C are not next door neighbors, so this relation is not transitive. But let's consider how we can change that, how we can look at this a bit differently. Suppose we look at the relation is a neighbor of, where a neighbor means that you live on the same street rather than being uh, strictly next door neighbors. Well, A and B must be neighbors of each other and B and C must be neighbors of each other, as we've seen previously. So A is a neighbor of B, B is a neighbor of A, C is a neighbor of B, B is a neighbor of C. So necessarily it must be the case that A and C are neighbors as well. So we can add in these edges to the digraph. So, this relation is actually transitive. Now, so this is transitive. And that concludes our presentation.